Hello. It's 11.30. The only problem is Bobo has been sleeping. Well, the past hour she's been awake, but she was asleep on the couch the entire time. So I don't know how long sleep is gonna go for us. I do have a headache though, so we are taking medicine. And I have to take, I have to um, return my incorrect prescription. I almost threw it out today. I'm so glad that I didn't. <laughs> I literally almost did, but they're like, oh, we can't fill your old prescription until you bring that one back. And I'm like, okay. What else? Oh, I was going to take an allergy medicine. I still don't understand how pharmacies can just... I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can. This is the second or third time it's happened. They fill my prescription, but it's not the prescription I'm prescribed to. It's not the same. It's not the right brand. Okay, allergy medicine acquired. This is my first soda from all of March. March is only four days old. It's been four days without soda. My head is killing me. The spring, even though it's pretty, even though I like spring, I do get headaches like no other because the weather is constantly changing. I'm gonna go with my parents in the morning, get breakfast together. Um, but tomorrow I have some client work to do. So it's probably gonna be right in the morning, client work in the afternoon slash evening, perhaps. Is that a smudge on the lens? But I guess I'll let you go here and end off day four like this. Hopefully the next time you see me, I will be wearing a different sweatshirt because at that point, I don't think I can have any more excuses. <laughs> okay, so you're in the same spot as you've been for the past several clips. Oh. Apologies. Today is slash was Tuesday. It's the 5th. It's 10 p.m. I just made cookies. I think this is exactly what I talked about last time. I got medicine out last time. Did I not? Spring is when I never feel good. I've been writing for the past... Well, I took, I took a break. Probably starting at like 8 or 8.30 or 9. But I've been writing for the past few of it. And we are on a chapter. Y'all, it's hitting me. I want to stop. I want to stop and I want to go back to the beginning and work from back from there and start the new draft like I always do. That's always how this section of writing goes. I feel like I never finish first drafts to completion um, and I don't want to. I want to stop. I'm trying my hardest to get everything on the page but it's bare bones at this point. I'm gonna try and write a little bit more tonight. I think I'm at 85,000. To be to be fully transparent, I don't think I'm going to write the main character in the love interest making up in this draft. I think I will be saving that for the next draft, writing that specific part of the ending because there's so much about the their dynamic that's going to change in editing because I'm gonna be building it up more and that just doesn't feel right to kind of force myself to fix, to write the reconciliation when they don't feel like as close as they are, like they should be anyway. So I do think that I'll at least like do my brackets how I do, like insert these details here in editing and do it that way. But so far things are going well in the writing world at least. Hello. So I can't remember if I ever like talked about this in a vlog or if I cut it, because I remember talking about it. But a lot of stuff that I talk about gets cut in the long run because it's literally nonsense or it does, it does, it's like random. The cookies. I don't remember if I talked about the cookies or not. I think, I, I, mean, I don't remember if I posted it or not. I think I did. I posted about how I make these cookies from the store and for like three or four batches, they were delicious and amazing. Then I got one batch that made me sick every single time I ate it. That should have been my indicator to stop eating them, of course, um, but instead I bought another batch and at that time I then ate it, I was perfectly fine. So I'm over here like, oh, cool. Like then I'm not, then these cookies are fine. Well, no, because I made them last night and I had two and I, got sick. So I'm, I'm just like confused. It's such a bummer because they're so easy and you know I can throw them in the oven and it's fast but anyway I think I'm gonna forego the coffee 
for now. The urge, like the habitual urge to make it is strong. It's Wednesday the 7th. I have to post Patreon. Um, usually I try to post um, my monthly posts like at the beginning of the month and I try not to do it any later than the 7th but the beginning of the month is always so crazy busy that it doesn't get done in the first few days, not normally. But I try not to not post it later than a weekend. I have to go to the mall today and get me jeans because this is also something I think I talked about. And uh, maybe I did, maybe I talked about it on Patreon. But I bought jeans in October, last October. And I, uh, I think we, I vlogged something of it because I remember vlogging a pair, me putting on a pair of jeans and them having literal rips from my mid thighs to the middle of my shins. Um, I remember that in a vlog. So was that then though? It was sometime in this house, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I bought jeans in October, and I have a pair of jeans that I've been wearing since high school, and in October, they no longer fit me, so like, finally, geez. So I bought new jeans in October. I went to put them on weeks ago at this point, because I haven't, I haven't, I noticed it weeks ago. And there is a giant hole in the middle, like, in the middle of my crotch, okay? <laughs> giant hole. Giant hole. I'm like, and it's like worn thin. And I, I'm like, I have a pair of jeans that have lasted me since high school. And these jeans couldn't even last me six months. <laughs> what? They're both the same brand. So I don't know. But I have to go get new jeans because those are the only pair of jeans I had. And I have been jeanless. And now they were coming into you know, spring and I no longer want to wear leggings all the time. But I, I started editing last night. I went back to the beginning last night. So that's that. That happened. Uh, so, but I got, I edited through half of a scene in chapter two. Like I edited chapter one and then half a scene in chapter two or half of chapter two. But I want to write down my notebook things I want to change and have them all just laid out. So that is what we're doing today at some point. Okay, so I wanted to come on really quick and give a gentle, kind reminder. Obviously, 100% always write the review that is of your heart, that you believe, with you, that, that you feel personally connected to. Write your thoughts out in that review, share it. Um, but if it's three stars or lower and you mention anything negative, it's best not to tag the author in the review. I know some people might not know this, some people might think, eh, who cares, they're never gonna see it. But if you're tagging the author in a review that contains a little bit of negativity, they will see it. And more often than not, there is no malicious intent in this. Um, it's people sharing their thoughts and opinions, and which is perfectly okay, which is what we want. We want honest reviews. But the unfortunate fact is that um, you could catch the, an author on a bad day and any ounce of negativity could be what kind of keeps them from moving forward. Which is why a lot of authors don't actively seek out their reviews. I personally am one of them. I don't actively seek out my reviews. If I ever look at my reviews, I make sure I check that five star category and I look at those. And I have a trusted friend who actually looks at the negative ones and tells me about them. If there's anything that needs to be addressed in those reviews, if anything can be improved moving forward. But like I said, you never know what kind of a, a day somebody is going to have. And if they're not actively seeking out that negativity, if they are not actively in a headspace that is prepared to take on criticism, opening their Instagram to find somebody giving their book a three-star review and listing what they didn't like about it can be make it or break it for them. I will be honest, we all know me. I've been struggling very, very much these past few months in terms of creativity um, and inspiration. And I keep saying that, but I guess since January, I have been better. But if I had gotten tagged in a negative review during those months, I probably would have stopped. I probably would have quit altogether um, because I was in that fragile of a headspace. And I don't think that was clear quite clear on the internet. It definitely wasn't clear on Instagram. Um, you just never know where somebody's headspace is at. So if the intention is not malicious, um, the gentlest reminder, share your thoughts. Share all of your thoughts. Be honest with your thoughts. If it's a two-star book and you didn't like it and it just made you so mad, share it. Please don't tag the author. If the author is not coming to you and asking you, Hey, did you like my book? It's not 
the most helpful to be tagging the author directly in that review because uh, review reviews are for readers they are not for authors so people normally tag authors in five star reviews when they've gushed over the book when they really enjoyed the book and they want to share that gratitude for the book to the author otherwise any critiques are for readers to see in order to decide whether or not they want to pick up the book um it's not for the author because the author can do nothing with those critiques. They cannot go back to the book and edit them unless it, unless it's it's a case where they can. More often than not, the only thing that will be done is it's a, it's a blow to the author who uh, unwitting, unwittingly opens Instagram and sees a negative review. Gentle, friendliest reminder possible. I know this might not be like something that's really common to people. People might not know about it. Um, I've seen a lot of authors on Instagram share like please don't tag me negative reviews um and it hasn't happened to me in a while but I I did feel the, the need to say it today mental health is very very fragile and you never know what someone is going through and you and somebody saying oh I hated the female main character she drained the life out of the entire book it, it really hurt the creator of that character when they are confronted with this without seeking it out. Do you know what I mean? So, gentle reminder, friendly reminder. I just know that if I had gotten tagged in a negative review, I would have quit. In in October, in, no, no, in November, specifically in November, I would have quit. I was on the verge of quitting in November entirely, to be honest, and maybe we'll talk about that one day. Maybe we will sit down and talk about the depths of my rock bottom, but I just know if I had gotten tagged in something that was negative. The spark that had um, been dwindling to a smolder would have gone out entirely. I would hate for someone to be the, to do that unintentionally. <sighs> to, to, to do that to somebody else unintentionally, so. I just made a cup of coffee, so. I told myself I wasn't going to, but it's 10.30 now and I do feel a lot better, so. 10.30, what have I been doing for the past hour and a half? But Bummy is finally laying down, so I'm gonna go sit down on the couch and we're gonna write a little bit. So, yay! I feel like death. <sighs> I didn't even have cookies this time, y'all. I don't know why I feel so sick. I felt worse this morning and I want to give props to my dog. I woke up at 7 40 and she woke up at 8 and we started crying and barking and all that stuff because she wanted to be let out of our kettle and I tried to say like no 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 lay down lay down and she didn't and my mom couldn't come pick her up because she had an appointment this morning so I'm like okay I'll get up I'll go downstairs take some medicine because my head was killing me and so I did, we came downstairs to take medicine, and I'm like, I'll give her food, and I'm just gonna lay on the couch and see how that goes. Cause normally she doesn't like it when I lay on the couch, she thinks it's play, and jumps all over me. So I laid down, she jumped on my side, cause I was laying on my side. So she jumped on my side, and literally laid down and went to sleep there, went back to sleep there. So we both slept there, it's 11 o'clock now. I probably, I probably ended up getting out of bed at around 8.30. Um, it's 11 o'clock now, so we slept a good little portion. And that's crazy for her. She never sleeps like that. She, she goes back to sleep in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee, but not, like, for that long. And even when I rolled over because my other side, my side was hurting from staying still in one spot, she jumped into like the pocket between me and the back of the couch and just slept there. So, um, applauding this little dog for not making me <laughs> have to play fetch when I literally feel like garbage. I have client work to do today at some point, probably at nighttime. What is going to happen is like today and tomorrow are going to be client work filled because Saturday I'm going to meet Trinity and I haven't seen Trinity in like a long time actually. I don't I don't even remember when the last time I went and met up with her was. Jeez, when was it? But I'm going to meet up with Trinity, which means it will be most likely not on my computer because we always bring our computers to write together, but uh, we never do. <laughs> so we just didn't chat the whole time. So, um, 
but other, even if we were to get our computers out, I'm not going to be wanting to work on client work. So today and tomorrow, um, I have three projects to do. One's in my top tier, at the top end of my top tier. Another two are in my middle tier. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do maybe the big one today and then the middle two tomorrow. I literally feel like that. And I couldn't even tell you why. I mean, I know a big reason of it was my headache. Goodness me. You know I don't feel good if I've got the glasses on. Since she's been sleeping, she's probably gonna want to play a little bit. So we'll play a little bit. Um, she's eating her food finally now. She even forewent food earlier and just laid on me. I'm like, you can go eat your, your breakfast, but... I feel bad because we haven't gone for a walk in three days? Two days? I just don't think I have it in me <laughs> to get out of the house and go for a two mile walk. It's a good day for it though, it's 45 degrees. Maybe later, if we're feeling a bit more energized. I didn't really have much time to do anything yesterday. I, I edited it a little bit in the morning, but I sat down to edit and I remembered that I wanted to write down what the edits I wanted to be for the book as a whole going into draft two are going to be. So I almost decided to do it on my notion just because when I sat down to do it, I sat down on the couch and then Bomi immediately laid on my legs and I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up and, you know, get her up and I'll just do it on my notion, but I didn't do it. So that is what we're going to do here. I don't know if we're going to do it right now though. Wait. Oh, you're so big. You're getting so big. Look this way. Oh, is your breakfast nummy? Is your breakfast nummy? She's so cute, guys. Anyway, that is me and us and her and I. And we will see you. Excuse you. In a little bit. Okay, hi, my name is Sarah Sutton. It is hours later. It is 4.40. Um, so my mom came and picked up Bomi. Maybe like one-ish. Took Bomi with her. I slept. I laid back down. I have been laying down since probably four because then I woke up and I was on my phone. So it is 4.40. I also forgot that I do have to edit this video at some point tonight slash tomorrow morning. I'm going to get me a drink right now, not coffee. I made decaf coffee earlier because I knew I wasn't going to want the caffeine to keep me awake. So I might make coffee later, but I think I just want something cold right now. What the plan is, is that I don't really have a ton of time to be focusing on this today anymore. Um, but I do want to jot sat down some ideas, some stuff. Um, and then we will be working on client work for the rest of the night. I don't know how many pages... I have of client work. I just know that the word count is like a smidge over a hundred thousand, which is my limit, but you know it's fine. Cute. Perfect timing. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Um, so Bomi had her little ball in her mouth when she went to the go inside from outside. Mm -hmm. And I think she dropped it and it went down in the cement hole. Oh, no. Yeah, and it's like a bottomless cement hole, so it's not like I can... Did you have a fun day with Grandma? Are you so tired? <laughs> She's so tired. Oh, you're so sweet. Did you have a busy day? Did you go for a walk and play a bunch outside? I swear she's so 